welcome to this really fun tutorial by Fromotion. Today we will again take a look at some new features within the 3D world of After Effects. Because some of the new stuff is really worth telling you. And yes, I will show you how to create all you see here at the moment in this tutorial and I will also show you some handy new tips and small features that After Effects has to offer now. And all the assets I'm using today are from Envato Elements, in case you want to follow along, but more to that later. Here in the newest version of After Effects, let's import our first 3D asset, as mentioned from Envato. Simply go to its 3D tab and search for models here, searching for an airplay. Okay, let's start with the basics. I will set up camera as well as an environment light to make this look a little bit better. So we are slowly getting somewhere. I want to use a 360 degrees image for the environment light. And this is already the next big improvement. Because now we do not need to use or create an HDR image because we can now use every image we want. Yes, we could also create something on our own or even use a comp as input. Hey, but that's not all. We can even use a video or image sequence to be used as light source within the environment light. This means our scene is lit with it, but it also shows in the reflections. And this just makes it a hundred times more realistic. Okay, back at Envato, I can search for a 360 VR video and they really have a lot to offer. And as we have an airplane in our scene, let's get some aerial shots. One daytime and one nighttime. So download it and drop it into our comp. And now we can reference it within the environment light. And you see how this drastically changes the overall look of our scene. We can now also enable the background video again and add a CC environment effect to it. In this way, the 360 degrees video gets mapped on a sphere and also reacts to the camera. Boom! And if you think this is great, simply sit back and relax for the next 30 seconds. And I will undo this because once I have set up the light, I can go to layer, light and click on Create environment light background layer. Bada boom, bada bang. This automatically enables our light source input again and applies the environment effect to it, as well as a slight blur. So we have it already integrated in our comp. What's even more mind blowing is that it has already linked it to the light parameters. So when I'm rotating the light here, the background rotates with it so it always matches. Great job, Adobe. But hey, Adobe, don't relax now. There is something we need to discuss. And I will tell you that at the end of this video. Because now I want to show you the power of this setup real quick. At first, let's animate our camera so we have a nice scene to look at, a daytime scene. But I can simply import the other background now, the nighttime. Choose it in our environment light and again create a background by going to light and choose create environment light background layer. Now we change the background and lighting for the whole scene completely with just one click. And this is just amazing. Okay, but let us close this comp and take a look at another really cool example. Because as we are now able to use FBX files, we are now also able to use Mixamo to create animated characters. Never heard of Mixamo? Well, if you have an Adobe account, you can also log into Mixamo, choose a character or upload your own and add an animation to it. And well, there are hundreds available. So I want to go with an outer space scene. So I'm searching for an astronaut. Yes, maybe this one. And for the animation, I'm looking for something floating. Ah, yeah. And in the preview, I can adjust it to my likings. 
well, and simply download it. In After Effects, I have already imported a really cool background, an interior shot of a spaceship where we see our planet Earth. So let's make this super cinematic and use our planet as a backlight for our astronaut. Again, I choose it in the environment light and create a background out of it. And yes, this is now indeed fully 3D and also super fast to render, almost in real time. <sighs> Just great. And hey, if you want to go even faster, simply click on the draft mode button over here while working. Super cool. But you indeed do not have to use all of this for realistic VFX scenes. Let's quickly open the last comp or the last scene for today. Again, all assets are from Envato. Also, this 3D studio is from Envato, but they offer way more than just 3D assets and 360 degree video. Indeed, they have millions of video clips, music and sound effects, and also over 800,000 After Effects templates, like all those opener animations, for example. So in total, they offer over 20 million assets that you can use for a lifetime. Well, even after you cancel your subscription. Oh, and you can of course download as many assets as you want. No limits here. Okay, so with the help of Envato, we have created a really cool motion graphics shot. For the environment light, we now want to get really creative. So we do not use a 360 image, but simply cool images with cool colors or famous paintings or whatever you like. Or, hey, why not use the mood board you got from your client or create something with the client's favorite colors and work with it. So that is a super creative way of working and will give you a variety of different results in just a minute. So here are a few examples with different inputs. Hey, and remember you can create a video here as well. Mm, maybe a simple day to night shot with two images and a simple opacity animation. And now our light setup is animated in our shot. Creativity at its best. And okay, now before we end this tutorial, let me show you one last really cool new feature. Because we all know that unfortunately we cannot add effects to 3D object layers. <sighs> but now we can. Just right click on the layer and go to create and click on create 3D layer instance. And this does, well, what it says. It creates an instance of the layer with the composite effect already applied. And now we can add additional effects, like mm, making the sun brighter with an exposure effect or change the color of this planet by simply shifting its use. Perfect. But as I told you, not everything is perfect, Adobe. Hear me out. We need native depth of field on our camera. All the workarounds are just workarounds, unfortunately. Please. But before I fall on my knees, I wish you a lot of fun experimenting with the new creative possibilities within After Effects.